Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, an update regarding what we were discussing on yesterday's video regarding the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Portia Williams, and your comments and what I'm hearing people say now. And and I must say, I'm shocked, actually. People are starting to be concerned about Dirty Simon, Portia Williams' fiance. All right? People feel sorry for him and are also telling him not to marry her, that she's going to be a problem after what they saw unfold in her spinoff, Portia's Family Matters, where Portia was attacking her daughter's grandma and father, her ex-fiance, Dennis, as well. And so, so many fans are also looking at Portia sideways as well. They're concerned for Portia's daughter, PJ. And you know, you guys know how uh, her fiance, Dirty Simon, the reason why he likes to marry young women and be with young women, um, allegedly, according to a very credible source, by the way, that spoke to me, is because he wants someone to take care of him in his old age. And now that Dirty Simon is 60 years old, you know, again, according to a credible source, he is 60 years old, and I choose to believe that, um, allegedly. And he wants somebody that can be there for him. And since we see Portia losing control, not having any patience, is it possible that you guys can see Portia, you know, when Simon is 70, 10 years from now, when he's on medication, maybe even 20 years from now when he's 80 years old? Can Portia really be patient? You know, because she has no self-control. I don't see her giving him medication administration, being patient and serving him his water and maybe his breakfast or whatever he may need, especially, you know, he's a senior now, but, you know, as he ages and gets older and stuff too. I don't see it, you guys. So yes, if Simon chooses to marry Portia, I will say this. I don't believe that she'll be a good caregiver, you guys. <laughs> She's not going to be a good caregiver. I can see Fallon Pina being a good caregiver, but I can't see Portia being a good caregiver for Dirty Simon. I don't see it, you guys. So he needs to think about his future because he's 60 years old now. And a woman like this that can lose control. And, you know, let's just say this, okay, you guys, because I've worked with lots of people with disabilities and stuff like that. I love that industry, by the way. And I've worked with seniors. There are some people who are very aggressive that, you know, I don't know how they even get hired in this industry. They're very aggressive. They, you would think that they're so caring because, you know, they're in human services and working with people and vulnerable people. But there are some people who go to these jobs and they take their anger out on their clients and stuff. And it's, it's really scary and really sad when you see this kind of stuff because that's someone's dad, that's someone's mom, uh, that's someone's daughter as well. And um, there are some people when they don't have self-control in their personal life, um, you just never know what they're going to do. And some of them attack clients and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it's really bad. You know, the stories, the things that I've also witnessed uh, working in this industry. Um, I don't work in it anymore, by the way. I just volunteer um, here and there, but I don't, I don't work in the industry or anything like that anymore. But when I did, it's really sad. And with Portia's behavior, somebody that has no self-control, um, and just attacking people whenever she wants to, it makes me concerned that yes, when Portia is, you know, married to this man and he starts to have health issues and stuff like that, he allegedly already has health issues. And the doctor has told him to stop his bad habits, his drinking that's out of control, his cigar, cigar smoking is out of control. Uh, the man's, you know, health is out of control, you know, and according to his third ex-wife, this is all according to Fallon Pina, um, who said that, you know, doctors have spoken to him about being a little bit more healthier and stuff like that, but he doesn't listen, it appears. He just does not listen. So there's a good chance that, you know, Portia will have to step into that role of a caregiver very soon in her fiance's life. But is she really ready to be a wife? 
Is she somebody that can think before she does things? Because her aggression is too much. This is not the first time we've seen her attack people. She's done this to cast members on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and people just gloss over it like it's nothing. But now her fans are also starting to turn against her and they're concerned for Dirty Simon and her daughter, PJ. And some are even telling her ex-fiance, Dennis, to really be careful and to ensure that the daughter is okay. Because if Portia has these anger issues, they're concerned that she won't be able to manage herself around her own daughter, you guys. So this is what I'm hearing right now. And I will just say, she's not, well, I'm not a man, but you know, uh, <laughs> Simon wants someone to take care of her, but I don't know if this woman is it, you know? I don't know if she's ready for that kind of role and that position, because if she can attack Dennis, she will definitely attack Dirty Simon. Trust me on that, you guys. She's gonna attack him one day too, right? Just think about it. Um, who is more annoying, Dennis or Dirty Simon? For me, Dirty Simon. And Portia hasn't seen Dirty Simon's true colors yet, but when she does, she's gonna attack him too, in my opinion. It's just a matter of time. We're gonna see what unfolds moving forward. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for letting me know your comments, your feedback on this story as well. Um, I agree with a lot of the things that you guys have to say. The concern is real. Portia needs help. She needs therapy. It's so interesting that the same woman who wrote a book, The Pursuit of Portia, where she's trying to you know, educate young women, share her story and life lessons to help others. And then we see that she hasn't really changed at all. We just see things getting worse and her spinoff is not helping her. She's damaging her image even more. And it's just, it's getting insane, you guys. Anyway, until our next conversation, be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Sunday Omni. And if you'd like to get to know me more, please check out the video description and get your copy of my ebook. It's called More Than Good Enough. I help women see another view. Take care. Cheers.